for D. Hey guys, Chris Flores here at Flow Fitness, and we're trying something new today. We put up a lot of pictures on Facebook on our famous whiteboard here at Flow Fitness. And a lot of people comment on it and you know say different things about the pictures. But what I want to do today is kind of explain some of the pictures and what they mean and the meaning behind our pictures being put up. All right, so our Flow Fitness is training you need for the results you want. All right, that's our big thing is balancing that need versus wants when working with clients. So I'm going to draw a little picture today that was inspired by a friend of mine, Patrick, and also doing some stuff with the Flower of Life, which is a whole other uh, topic and subject all together. But we're going to talk what about you have on one side for your training session and what your client needs. All right. Now, the needs of your clients can be they need flexibility work, if they need soft tissue work, if they need corrective exercises, or whatever stuff you find during your assessment when you first deal with your client. So we're dealing with our needs first, all right? So we'll put soft tissue. We'll also put in here basics. Whatever you decide basics are is up to you. I'm not going to get into that. Some people say, you know, everyone should be deadlifting, everyone should be back squatting, got to need certain strength. Whatever it is, your basics, we'll just put basics. Cover all the ground with that, all right? So these are the kind of stuff your client needs to do in every session, all right? This is the basic stuff that has to get done every single training session. Now, what happens with that is you, if you focus only on this area of training, your clients get extremely bored and don't want to train. So this section here is what the client wants to do, all right? We cover the stuff they need to do. Now we're going to talk about what they want to do. Most people want to come in, they want to do the latest trend of exercise. Most people want to do battle ropes. You know, is it necessary necessary for them to do it? Not really, but they want to do it because it's fun, it's exciting, it's entertaining. So we have to balance during the training session the stuff the client is going to need versus the stuff they're going to want to do while they're training. So this part here is your fun part of your training. Alright, we do stuff here at Flow Fitness, we call Flow Bottas. And what a Flow Bottas is, just two exercises we'll put back to back or put a little circuit together and we'll make the client do it at the end of the session. Is it necessarily something that they need to do? No, but it's something that they want to do and something that's fun. And at the end of the session, they leave here with a smile on their face, happy they train, and know they got a good workout. So we cover, usually with our workouts, the needs part to start off the workout. And then to end it off, we give it more of the wants part. And we'll also throw some of the wants. A prime example I'll give you is most of my clients who play sports, they want to bigger arms. I mean, let's face it, you get a high school kid, wants his arms to look a certain way. I generally don't put curls in any of my training sessions or many of programs I design for athletes. Not to say I don't like curling exercises, but there's so many other stuff I need to do with that client. Other ways to hit the bicep rather than standing doing a bicep curl. But if the client really wants to do that and wants to look at himself in the mirror, maybe I'll throw that in during the session. It's not something he needs, it's something that they want. When training your clients, what we call is a state of flow. It's the middle between these two. So you take a circle here, take a circle here. All right, so you have your needs. You have your wants in the middle, is what we will call, ah, I like that. So in the middle we call flow, all right? And that's where our training sessions live here. All our training sessions are directly in the middle of these two things. Client comes in, they need a soft tissue work, they need a flexibility stuff. Everything you found during an assessment, need core stability, they need to work all this stuff. But they also want to have fun, they want to jump around, they want to do things that maybe necessary aren't 100% ready for, but as long as it's safe and it's fun for them, they're going to want to come back. You may see, a lot of times we'll show a lot more of this stuff just because people want to see the crazy exercises and the creativity. We're not going to show us people doing retraction or stuff to help destabilize the scapula because there's tons of that stuff already on the internet. So you may see a lot of this coming from us, but we also do tons and tons of this and we got to be balanced in the middle. Now, if you're chiropractor or physical therapist or something like that, that's a completely different story. You're going to be probably all in the needs section. You're not a personal trainer. You're not there to have people have fun. You're there to rehab them to something better. So this is not to say people who you know do certain clinical stuff, as far as like when I'm at the high school working with athletes doing a rehab, I'm all needs stuff. That's stuff they need to do to get back on the field, to get back on the court, or whatever sport they're playing. All right? So we're not going to be doing any of this. But it's strictly for mostly personal training. If you want re some client retention, you're going to have to work on needs, wants, and balance somewhere in the middle there to keep your clients coming back. All right? So the whole point of this diagram here is that you have to balance out your clients' needs versus their wants. 
If you're too much on this side, your client may get bored and not want to come back. If you're too much on the want side, some people are super reckless with their training and doing off the wall stuff that clients can't even handle yet. All right, so you could be this could be a danger zone if you're too far in the want space. All right, so you got to balance the two out, and that's what we call here at Flow, and that's the way our training sessions are structured. Four, three.